around. This, the type of stuff, there's no way in the world I'll scrap. This is a nice, this used to be an old copper uh, float, a water float for sheep and cattle troughs. Even something like that, guys. Make a nice little bowl for something, you could sell that. And this here is a really old um, brass trailer connection. So I'd rather sell that on eBay. And yeah, definitely, you know, you never know, it could be sought after for people who restore vintage car trailers and all that. Everything's sought after, guys. And there's some more of those things I showed you yesterday. And we'll go and show you a few more things. Right now. That I'm going to eventually sell on eBay, fellas. So I know how tempting it is to get the money, and they're quite weighty. But these would be, like I said yesterday, very collectible for people who do copper art, metalwork steampunk and everything else so we'll go over and show you the rest of the stuff this couple rainwater tank right no here fellas there's no way i'd cash that in as tempted as i would be this stuff here you could easily sell people love this kind of stuff for wind chimes um buddhism type wind chimes you hit it and it rings for like five or ten minutes straight so there's no way I'd sell that. Uh, really old taps, you be careful of selling really, really old taps, they're very highly collectible. Uh, copper water floats, don't sell those. So, nice decorative piece of brass like that. Don't know what it's off, but I wouldn't sell that. Just over here, fellas, more uh, water floats. There's no way I'd sell that. Beautiful old brass shower head. So no, I'd sell that. So all of these floats, guys, either a beautiful polish up nice and gold, or even like I say for wind chimes. Just over here, fellas. Here's some of the other stuff I would never scrap. Old 1900s beer uh, taps. Old taps here. 1900s uh, brass doorknobs. Beautiful old uh, oil pourers like that. Nice brass in piece, um, boss piece of metal like this. Old pumps like that. Another tap here. Look at that beautiful tap. There's no way to scrap that. Another pump. Some beautiful old beer pouring um, taps. These are from the 1900s. There's no way I'd ever scrap stuff like that. Door handles, it's a beautiful one here. Look at that. Why would you want to scrap something like that when it's something like that could sell for probably fifty to a hundred dollars? Even stuff like this, guys, the old drain um things where the washing wall when you do your clothes washing. We have these in Australia, they stick out the side of the house. You don't see these anymore, even those are sought after for people restoring 1900s houses. Decorative nice pieces of brass, there's so much stuff guys, you just got to really use your imagination, like that, even, you just got to be careful of scrapping beautiful old taps like that guys, something like that could easily sell, but I do scrap stuff like that, but um, I'm trying to get a nice collection of all different taps, so yeah, just got to be careful guys with this beautiful old firefighting um, hose tap. Another beer keg or a beer pouring tap or something like that. What's this one here? Look at this one. Stuff like that. If you scrap stuff like that, guys, you're crazy. So, anyway, guys, that's my tip. And yeah, here's another stuff. Nice big long piece of brass like this. That. Right, here's some old beer. Some old uh, copper or brass. Um, wooden keg uh, barrel rings, very collectible guys. And I'll show you one other thing what my mate got yesterday, yesterday fellas on this beautiful old 1900s water heater. It would look beautiful polished up in a corner of someone's old 1900s to 1950s home. Got to be careful of even scrap, being tempted to scrap beautiful pieces of copper like that guys. That is worth money to artists. Here's another thing here. See this here? This is one of those beautiful old 1900s um, water heaters. So look what you can do with it. Use your imagination. Make a beautiful garden with flowers. But I'm going to use this.
or a nice little um, tadpole pond or a fish pond. So this is just one of those over there, big water cylinders and it's just been cut straight through the middle. And it's easy to fix, it's got a nice cork, put a cork in there. So yeah, just got to use your imagination guys, be very very careful, no matter how tempting it is, tempting it is, just be careful. And I know how tempting it is, I've scrapped heaps of stuff with uh, stuff I've regretted. Another thing is, I'll show you here guys, uh, old, very old sinks, this isn't that old, that one, but just uh, be very careful of um, scrapping really old sort after 1900s uh, copper or brass kitchen sinks. Very collectible for people restoring. Like that, fellas, houses. there's no way in the world I'd scrap that. That's what I showed you the other day in one of my videos. Probably early 1900s, 1920s era. Beautiful old fruit bowl, fruit bowl stand. But look how, you know, it's a bit dented or bent, but that could be fixed within five minutes. So never ever scrap stuff like that guys, it's highly collectible and all of the other stuff I've just shown you. Alright guys, thanks for watching. There's another going. thing fellas I just found, old hubcaps, very collectible. Old cast iron sinks and enamel sinks, don't scrap those. Don't ever scrap the copper bowls like that, they're worth a lot of money. Hubcap there, even old signs fellas. Bent, easily straighten out, don't scrap them, worth money. Another like that, um, pressure cooker, very sought after if you're a terrorist. Alright, they are sought after very, guys. Um, old cooking pans, that, they're very um, collectible, the old ones. There's another beautiful example, old copper bowls, don't ever scrap those guys. This Bain Marie here yeah. for cooking fellas. That still works, so uh, it's stainless steel, worth money. I wouldn't. I like showed you the other day, fellas. Even stuff like this, extremely sought after. Old night forks, or steampunk wind chimes. Even that. Like I said the other day, fellas. All of this stuff is um, to be sold as steampunk, or like I said one day, I'd love to be able to learn how to make like nice little copper art sculptures and stuff, like making old warships out of um, copper and brass, old bullets, I wouldn't cast those, any old belt buckles guys, I never cast those, anything, harmonica reeds, all that kind of stuff guys. Even these old um, horse saddle studs. Inside those. So it's just use your imagination, guys. You're only just starting. You want to always be learning. Every every day you're scrapping. Maybe stuff in here that I'll keep for myself and sell. Steampunk old spoons. People love even the modern day spoons, guys. People want these, you hammer them flat or wind chimes. So it doesn't take long to get a good collection of knives and forks and spoons and everything else. Old watch cogs, steampunk. So, so much stuff, guys, that people scrap that, you know, is actually worth a lot of money. You know, all of this stuff might look like junk to you guys, but. You know, if you use your imagination, look at it and think, what well, you know, I wonder what I could use that for. You know, just say, for example, you know, I'd love to be able to make an old navy ship out of um, copper and brass. You know, I don't know, that could be a, a old gun or a, a um, chimney stack. Who knows? Copper chain, all that kind of stuff for jewellery. Nice chain to wear around your neck. I should put that in my pocket, actually. But, yep. Beautiful decorative stuff like that. Sort after. So, just use your imagination, guys. It's all, all this stuff is all sought after. Trust me. And all of this stuff here, I mean, most of this is all just metal detecting yeah, guys, finds. I'm pretty feet. good at the moment. I've just got to go through this tomorrow, pick out stuff I want to uh, cash, scrap. <laughs> Got a heap of copper gaskets, got to go and pick up now as well. And yeah, so we're going pretty good. I'll show you what I've done so far.